What's up beautiful people, this is Mike from Mike Edges World. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how you can access those demo files on the LG OLED C1 and LG OLED G1 on the 2020 OLED models from LG. So before we get into that, make sure to hit the like on this video and subscribe to the channel because there's a lot of videos in the pipeline. And also I'm getting the LG OLED G1 by this weekend. So stay tuned for a lot of comparisons and a lot of other videos about the LG OLED C1 and G1 and comparison with the other different models from different brands. Okay, let's talk about this video now. So when you wanna access those demo files, you have to go to the media player. But if you're in the home mode as I'm in right now, I have my USB connected, Denon receiver, but we have to go to the samples. In sample, you don't see those demo videos at all because they are available only in the store mode. So this is easy. Just go to uh, settings, activate the store mode, and you're going to have the demo videos here. And if you don't want to learn more about how to do it, you can literally skip to the next se session where I have the uh, demo videos playing for four minutes. So maybe you can watch that, but I'm going to talk in deep about what going what's going on here there are other things that you can also play with so i'm going to walk you through the all these settings that we have for the uh, store demo so we're going to go with general and in general in devices we go to tv and in the tv section we have the home or store mode right so you can activate it from right here but when you do that make sure that you're doing it when you get your TV. Because if you do it later on when you have customized your settings, so make sure to read this message. It totally talks about that. It is gonna initialize your settings every few minutes because it's supposed to be for the demo, for the store, right? So if you're trying it at home after like a month or two months when you have played with your TV and a lot of adjustment and settings you have already done, it's gonna reset everything. So I don't recommend it doing it when you know you have this TV for a while and you have done your settings and calibration. So do it only when you get the brand new TV at that time. All right, it's gonna throw you back in the vivid picture mode because that's how it is in the stores because it's like so much ambient light there. So they are just the settings according. All right, now we're gonna go to the same uh, media player and we're gonna see that right now we are in the store mode. So we're gonna have the demo video files showing up. So we're gonna go to the media player and uh, as soon as we launch it, there's gonna be everything that's connected to it. So my TV is connected with the USB, there is the media um, server that I have, and then samples. Now you see that in samples, we have four additional videos and these are the demo videos. So enjoy the content and we'll talk after, you know, you're done watching this beautiful demo.
All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the demo videos. Most of the demo videos are in the vivid mode when you go to the store. So you can play with the settings if you can ask for the remote control, because that's going to help you a lot to make your decision how it looks for your own choice. You know, when you're going to be watching your videos in the home cinema in cinema or in the filmmaker mode. So my neighborhood Best Buy allows me to, you know, have the remote control and play with the settings. Either way, it's going to reset the settings every now and then in the store mode. So they should be least worried about that. You can try that in your neighborhood stores if you're going to buy the TV. You can try different modes. But before we get back to the home settings again, where you're going to be using your TV for the rest of its life, I want to show you one more setting, which will actually show you a couple of different things you can do with your TV. So very first one that I want to show you is like, uh, first I'm going to get out. I mean, this is the way you're going to go back to home mode. So I'm going to get out of it, and then I'm going to take you back to the store mode settings. So let it load it up, we're in the store mode and I wanna show you one more option, which is kind of exciting to see demo options. You can delete your internal demo store files if you wish to. It is password protected, so you'll have to put the password. Um, the password right now is uh, 0000, so it's four times zero and you'll be able to delete or copy the demo store files. And also you can bring in more demo files to your internal storage, but internal storage is not that much. Also USB security alarm is for store people if somebody's trying to take this USB for the demo out, you know. For the sync demo, it works when you have the multiple displays and you wanna sync the demos, the one we just played, on the multiple OLEDs from the 2021 model. In the new features, it will test the AI Picture Pro. So it will show you how, you know, picture looks without the AI Picture Pro. It actually enhances the details and sharpness is just, you know, like too much there. Uh, it depends. A lot of people don't like AI Picture Pro. Some people like AI Picture Pro. It depends on like what kind of content are you playing. If you're playing SDR, you can turn on AI Picture Pro. It will do miracle with your picture. I mean, your TV can do a lot of things. So why not just give it a try, you know, rather turning off everything as soon as you get your TV. So AI Picture Pro is good when you're using the SDR content. Try it out. But I won't recommend it for movies in SDR. I won't even recommend it for the 4K HDR videos as well because they're already very optimized. So guys, that's all I have from this video. I hope you enjoy the content. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in another one. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Peace out.